And to fill us in on the music scene now from 89.9 FM Radio Boise, it's Elizabeth. Hey, how are you? I'm doing so good. Did you hear that Go Listen Boise updated their website? I did not hear that, but I'm hoping you can fill me in on that. It's really cool because we just revamped everything and we need everybody to send in their venue and musician profiles so you can be featured on the website. Anybody who's interested in more information about the local bands that I talk about or more shows than what we have time to talk about here can go to golistenboise.org. There's a huge calendar, lots of information about the bands and venues. Check it out, golistenboise.org. You want to build your career? It starts with publicity, right? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So on to the calendar. Perfect. Thursday night, Ben Burdick is doing a solo set at Salt Tears Coffee House in Nashree. He normally does that jazz stuff around town. This will be solo acoustic, so it should be mm. really good. Friday night is a big show out at the Idaho Center in Nampa. Miranda Lambert is in town. Mm -hmm. Tickets for that are $26 to $46. If you want something a little more local, head in town to Liquid, which is across from the Ninning Factory. Mickey the Jump, which is actually a Nampa band, is going to be playing out there at 8 p.m. Nice. And Saturday night is a very big deal. The Idaho Songwriters Association, they're a local nonprofit that promotes songwriting in Idaho, obviously. Right. They're hosting the Bill LeBounty Songwriter Showcase. And if you haven't heard of Bill LeBounty, you might actually recognize a lot of his songs. He's now currently living in Nashville. He's written hits for Tim McGraw, Patti LaBelle, The Judds, Brooks and Dunn, even Jimmy Buffett. Wow. But he's also a talented performer in his own right, so you can check that out on Saturday night. It's going to be at the Blue Door Cafe in Eagle, and tickets are at $25. You need to go to IdahoSongwriters.com to pick those up. That sounds like a really great It's going to be really a great. Experience. Exactly. And he actually started here in Boise in a band called Fat Chance back in the 70s. Wow. So he's in Nashville now, but he is a Boise guy, so that's <laughs> exciting. On the other side of the spectrum, out in Nampa at Flying M Coffee Garage, the Soft Hills are in town. They're from Seattle. It's kind of a psychedelic indie show with fountains, so that's totally opposite, but mm. also good. Monday night is a huge one for the Visual Arts Collective. Shellac is in town. It's a heavy rock show with Helen Money. Tickets for that are 10 to $15. And again, on the other side of the spectrum, Knitting Factory is hosting David Cook with Gavin DeGraw, opening as Carolina Liar. We have kind of a lot of country going on this week, which yeah. is great. It's all good stuff. But if you want to finish off your week with some indie rock, Death Cab for Cutie is at the Taco Bell Arena. So that's another huge show. Tickets for that are $27 to $40. Nice. If you want a free show, though, you can always go down to the Visual Arts Collective for Uber Tuesday. This week it's featuring Daniel Francis Doyle, Public Dims, the local groups With Child and Josh Gross, and the God Crotch Experience. Yeah, I always know that, you know, Uber, Uber Tuesday Tuesdays. is always Uber fun. They you know? are. Yep. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Elizabeth, thank you so much. Anytime. Stick around. Coming up right after this, Sean McBride, the movie guy, helps you to cut loose. You'll have to just stick around for that one. When ETV continues, right after this.